just a few minutes ago in this spot here in Hillhead Cemetery, just up from Ballon Lewig, was the funeral for Frank Cruikshank. It was a socially distanced funeral and as you can see here the family were all spread out and uh, you had quite a lot of close, it came from a big family so there were quite a lot of people here but all the same. This video is especially for those who would have wanted to have come here today to say their own farewell to Frank and it's hoped that in some of the memories shared that you will also be able to remember Frank as you knew him and to mourn and to give thanks for the enormous privilege of having been part of his life. Frank was born up in Aberdeenshire in Tarvis, near Old Meldrum, on the 23rd of March 1943. His mum and dad were Anne and Sandy and they lived on a dairy farm where they worked and farming was to be a big part of Frank's life. It was a nice symmetry to Frank's family. He was one of nine and he had two older brothers and two older sisters and two younger brothers and two younger sisters. Frank began his schooling in Tarvis where he went to primary school and then to Lawrence Kirk where he went to secondary school. After leaving school he had a great love of being with animals which is why he went to work with possibly the last farm in Scotland which was to have horses um, and working horses at it farm near Brechin. Here's a, a photo of Arat farm near Brechin which uh, I found uh, on the Dundee Courier website but apparently the exact same photo also hung up in uh, Frank and his wife Elsie's house. Frank and Elsie had met each other uh, because they'd grown up in the same district from one another and they were married uh, near Freakham in Guthrie Church on the 12th of September 1964. Family life began with the arrival of Lorraine in 1965 uh, followed by their other children who were Ian and Sean and Trevor. And family was to be a huge part of Frank's life. He, he lived and he loved, for, he loved his family. He uh, had been working as a lorry driver for Grants and Broughty Ferry but because of the amount of time that this took him away from home he then decided he, he wanted to come back and do something nearer home which uh, involved shepherding. So he became a shepherd uh, a few valleys along from here at Trinafour, Dalshalach Farm and it's said that that was when Frank was at his, his very happiest um, uh, or certainly his happiest outside the family being up the hill with the sheep. However, uh, he, he recognised uh, after some time doing that that um, he perhaps needed to find something else and so he came back and he moved to Ballin Lewig, which is just over uh, the other side of the A9 from where I am now in the mid-1980s, came and moved there and became part of the community here. He worked for the Refuse Department in Perth and Gro Ross Council and later on becoming a supervisor uh, based in Pitlochry. Frank had had a number of, of health issues in the latter parts of his life in uh, the mid uh, the time that they came to live here in Ballin Lug and uh, that was around about the same time that uh, he was diagnosed with diabetes he also then in 2005 2006 had some fairly serious heart issues uh, which meant that he retired from uh, the work for the council in 2006 there will be a number of of memories of his life most important memory and the thing that mattered most to him was being with his family. He loved his grandchildren who were, and I'm just going to make sure I have everybody's name correct, Stuart and Leslie Ann and Scott and Greg and the twins Gordon and Frank. Other memories of Frank were that in his early years he enjoyed a round of golf, he also raised pigeons. Um, but uh, latterly it might be him and his mobility scooter in his back garden. He didn't let things hold him back. Indeed, in the time when he had his heart uh, condition, he'd been in nine wells and in rehab, and it said that he showed a lot of the younger guys how to operate the equipment in the gym and uh, how to go about things with determination. Courage and determination were big hallmarks of Frank's life. He also loved his animals, he loved his dogs, and uh, he had a particular favourite collie that he worked with when he was shepherding Sam, who he had many favourite memories of. The last few years had been particularly difficult for Frank health-wise. Uh, in 2018, through his diabetes, he'd had his leg amputated, and I should say that was actually when he had his toughest rehab to do, and um, he really went about things with tremendous uh, courage and determination. 
Also, uh, this year, he had to have a further amputation and uh, then it also contracted COVID-19. Um, and it was through that that he, that he died. Frank's life was of a man who was witty and warm and great company and easy to be with, much loved by his family, uh, who have many, many fond memories of him. He was part of the community here, he was a member of the church at Logie Reit. And there is tremendous sadness for the feeling that he has, he has gone. Someone who loved people and loved life as much as him is greatly mourned. And uh, it's hoped as well that this tribute here does pay justice and honours the memory of Frank Cruikshank. <laughs>